now that I got Google Prettify to work, um, I actually want to see what other options I have. Namely, uh, I want to get a different cosmetic look for it and I want to get that line numbering so going back to the instructions I see that well for one it's saying that you could specify a language for the code that you're using but uh, but that actually prettify.js will all sort of auto detect and guess the language I, exper I experimented with this before and I used uh, this lang-js for JavaScript and it looked exactly the same so I know that prettify is guessing that I'm that I'm showing JavaScript and uh, you know what in my opinion less code is better code so if it's not really changing anything for me I'll exclude it um, but as I'm kind of going down the rest of the options, I see that I have another class I could add to my um, to my preformatted element over here to give it some line numbering, and that's the line nums class. Now, the line nums has some options in itself. Like if you put a colon after it and a number, it'll say what line your code starts on. But that doesn't really make sense uh, for my examples, so I'm not going to use it. So all I need to do is copy line nums and just add it as a class to um, this one div container I have. Let's see what actually. Let's look at it through. Um, Chrome, there it is. Okay, this is cool. I mean, what this is doing now, we have a um, we have the one five being the line number. I guess this is the default, uh, and it's doing some kind of like every other line, some code high, uh, highlighting, um, or line highlighting, the zebra stripe thing. Now, before you start to mess around with this, um, I realized that. What what was happening here is that this thing, uh, Google uh, the uh, prettify.js is actually turning this code into an ordered list, an OL, and that's where it's getting its its numbers from. And those numbers appear because they're actually going to appear through the CSS. They're just kind of being hidden here um, via CSS. So um, before we go and make custom custom edits to this or at least before I do uh, you could play play away um, I find it easier to kinda of go back to the main page and you'll see something that says themes gallery and the themes gallery is gonna have a couple of already preset themes over here and this is the one that I use right down at the bottom um, and the reason I even went to the themes before I tried to mess with the custom CSS myself is that you know, I didn't really know what was going on. And when I look at someone else theming it as an example, it, for me, this is like the easier way that I learned. So uh, I'll just copy and paste what they have, and then I could kind of uh, tweak it to what I need. So let me pop that code into prettified.js, the one that I copy and pasted. And I'm, I'm going to leave the author credit where it should be. They made it. Good for them. So um, let me go back to my page and voila look at that so I have I have the code I mean just on the one I'm gonna apply the class to the rest of them later um, but this looks pretty cool now there's a couple of things I want to do to kinda of tighten it up and uh, since these are gonna be uh, unique to my implementation I'm gonna pop the CSS right into my uh, my layout.css code so the first thing I need to do is uh, take care of uh, this all this code that seems to spill out in some places beyond the actual preformatted box and I could do that with the white space CSS attribute so I'll just target pre um, or I could target the class which actually I think that would actually probably be the better way in case I mean if I you know what I know for my implementation I'm not gonna have any other preformatted elements but why not I mean in case I do and something changes down the road pretty print is what I'm targeting so that's what I'm gonna use so what I'm trying to do now is um, what was I saying white yeah I'm gonna use the CSS white space attribute and I'm gonna use this pre wrap thing and what this does is, once I refresh this page, it's going to bring in this function results and it's going to wrap it right inside there so it doesn't spill out. Pretty cool. The last thing I wanted to do to this is kind of tighten up the spacing between the lines. Um, and actually I found out that you could do it really easy just by setting the 
margin for the li uh, the list item element to zero. So I'm just going to target the pretty print element and inside pretty print the li and then there we go and here I'm just going to go margin margin zero and voila the lines now are a little bit tighter and in my opinion just look a little bit better